So a major part of ordering glasses and getting accurate eyeglasses, you know, ones that you can see out of and are comfortable to wear, is having an accurate pupillary distance, also known as your eyeglasses PD. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to measure your pupillary distance for glasses at home using a free and simple app on your phone. That's today's video, let's take a look. Hey, what's up? This is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. If you are new here to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Now today, I'm gonna to show you how to measure your pupillary distance. The pupillary distance is the distance between the center of your right pupil and your left pupil. And this is an important measurement for eyeglasses because it tells the optician or whoever's making your glasses where the center of your lens, the optical center for your glasses will fit inside the frame so that you see the most clear and the best vision you can have with those lenses. Otherwise, if your pupillary distance isn't set right in those glasses and you're looking through the wrong part of the lenses, then the prescription really isn't valid and you're not seeing what your eye doctor intended to do to view out of, which can easily cause problems such as having blurred vision, having almost like a distorted, almost motion sickness in your vision. It can even cause problems with your eye muscle movements leading to things like eye strain and headaches. So yeah, having an accurate pupillary distance is a big deal. Now, if you really wanted to, you could try the old classic way of trying to measure your pupillary distance using a mirror at home with a millimeter ruler. However, that can be pretty difficult and in my experience, isn't the most accurate because people just have a hard time lining things up. So instead today, I'm gonna show you how to use a great free app on your phone that I find to be a lot more reliable. Here's an online app called Glasses On, which you can download for free. Now, I've tried several different online apps like this, but this one happens to be the easiest to use and I find to be the most accurate for measuring your pupillary distance. It turns out the app was even clinically tested and meets industry standards and is cleared by both the FDA here in the United States and the CE over in Europe. So there are two parts to the app. First, there's a free pupillary distance measurement tool, and then there is a paid feature for measuring the prescription for your glasses. But for this video, we're just gonna focus on the free pupillary distance measurement tool. Before we start, it first tells you that you're gonna need a standard magnetic card for scaling, as well as uh, good lighting so you can take a good picture of your face. I'm just gonna use an old credit card of mine that's been outdated. Then the app straight up just walks you through the process with simple instructions, but I'm gonna walk you through here just as an example. Now, if you are already wearing glasses, make sure to take these off because uh, otherwise it won't take the picture correctly. Then you're gonna grab your standard magnetic card and you're gonna hold it up on your forehead. Now, a pro tip I'll share is that you wanna grab the top corner here. Otherwise, if you're grabbing it lower here, it'll kind of block part of your face and it won't take the image correctly. Then you're just gonna line it up and follow the instructions on the camera. Then you're gonna smile and look directly into the camera on your phone. And there, that's all it takes. I've even double checked my pupillary distance with the instruments we have at the clinic and it checks out. So you can see why there's no wonder why a lot of online glasses companies are offering this exact technology as a plug and play web tool from the developers of 6 over 6. Now I did just want to comment on a few extra things that'll help you out. First is that this app measures what is called your interpupillary distance. That is the distance between one pupil versus the other, which is really ideal for anybody looking into single vision glasses or reading glasses. If you happen to be purchasing reading glasses, your opticians will typically either measure a specific reading glasses pupillary distance, or they'll just take your distance PD and then subtract about three millimeters. And that's because when you're reading, your eyes converge a little bit, kind of like looking toward your nose, and so your pupillary distance is subtracted a little bit. The other thing I wanted to comment on is that if you have a high glasses prescription, you are a plus six, plus seven beyond that, or a minus six, minus seven below that, or you happen to be ordering progressive bifocal glasses, instead of looking into an interpupillary distance, you might wanna look into getting a monocular pupillary distance. A monocular pupillary distance is the measurement from the center of the pupil of one eye to the midline of your nose. And most of us do not have a perfectly symmetrical face, such as myself, I'm about 30 millimeters all on one side and about 29 millimeters on the other. And with really high prescriptions in your glasses, even a small amount of error, even that small little difference, can significantly affect how you see through those lenses. And while this app has been found to be as accurate as industry standard pupillometers, a manual pupillometer may be necessary to take a monocular pupillary measurement. 
And just on a side note, I know that a lot of you watching this video are looking into ordering glasses online, but keep in mind that this app does not provide medical advice and does not replace an eye health examination from an eye care professional. So it's important to keep seeing your eye doctor for eye health evaluations periodically. I mean, no, seriously, even if you think your vision is fine and you're seeing okay, a lot of eye diseases creep up on you and you don't know you're going blind until it's too late. So yes, again, get in to get seen. Hey, otherwise, thanks for watching. And if you learned something new, go ahead and smash that like button for me and drop a comment below of what type of video you would like to see next. And finally, if you want to check out the glasses on app yourself, you can do so by clicking or tapping the screen up over here to the side. Or if you want to see another cool video from the Dr. Eye Health channel, you can go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Plus, if you want to learn additional information all about the glasses on app or the company, its developer called Six Over Six, I'll include additional information in the video description below. Thanks again for watching. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.